Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a Q&A video because it's been a little while since I've done one of those. So I thought um, that would be fun to do another one. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, I asked for questions over on Patreon as well as over on Instagram. Patreon questions of course get top priority. So um, thank you everybody who submitted questions and uh, let's just jump into it. First question comes from Brighton and he asked, are you excited for your birthday? Any fun plans? So I'm actually um, it's <laughs> my birthday, me and my birthday, we have a very complicated relationship. Um, I've actually been very depressed ever since the beginning of the month because of my birthday, because I feel like I keep getting older and I'm not really accomplishing anything. And so I've actually have not been very excited about my birthday. It's actually been a source of a lot of depression for me during this month. Um, so probably not the answer that you were hoping for, probably not the happy answer that you were hoping for. Um, as for my plans, I'm having a Nintendo themed birthday party with some of my friends, which I mean that aspect of it, I'm very excited to get to see some friends and get to have a little, a little party with them. Everybody's going to be dressing up as Nintendo characters. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but as for the whole getting older thing, um, it's something that I'm very depressed about. So. Yeah, again, not the no, probably not the answer you're hoping for, but um, I'm just being real. It's it's been it's been a time for me uh, recently. Aaron asks, what character are you most excited to cosplay at a con when you're able to go to cons again? I mean, probably whatever I'm into the most when the con actually comes around. Um, I'm excited to do Danganronpa cosplays at cons because I haven't really interacted with anybody from the fandom like in real life. It's always interesting getting to feel out each fandom like in person. I guess I'm excited to wear like Soda or Sonia to a convention. I think those will be really fun to wear to a convention. Um, yeah. Uh, how many wigs do you own? I have no idea. I don't even have a ballpark of how many wigs I own. I'm really not sure <laughs> how many wigs I own. Anyway, that's it for Patreon questions. Let's move on to Instagram questions. Um, what was the cosplay that everyone recognized and the cosplay that no one did? Which is a great question. Um, the cosplay that everyone recognized was Daphne. Oh my gosh, everybody from any generation knew who Daphne was. Like without question, that was my most recognizable cosplay. And then the cosplay that no one recognized was Beth Tezuka from Bravest Warriors. Like, oh my gosh, nobody knew who I was. It was so obscure, which I was really surprised about because like everybody knew who Catbug was, right? That was a very popular cosplay and that was a very popular character. But for some reason, I think people just really only knew Catbug from the meme, but no one had ever actually seen Bravest Warriors. So definitely Beth was like my most obscure, least recognized cosplay. All right, next question is, how are you today? Which is a nice question to ask. To be real, I'm not doing well today. I've been having a lot of trouble accomplishing things on my days off. I'll sleep for most of the day and then by the time I actually get up and get ready to actually do something like the day is half over and it's like the day just kind of gets away from me and that's it's been one of those days for me today. Um, I was gonna film, I was gonna go out and do errands and then the day just like evaporated in front of me. So I'm feeling really down that I didn't get to accomplish a whole lot. I'm, I'm getting, I'm making this video so that's something but yeah it's been like my days off have just not been what I've wanted them to be and I haven't been productive and that's really been like weighing in on my recent depression so it's 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 been a tough day again probably not the answer you were hoping for but we like to keep it real here on the channel um I have not been doing well do you play Genshin Impact? I do not play Genshin Impact. I only like a couple of weeks ago learned what Genshin Impact was. I had no idea what it even was. Um, I have not gotten around to downloading it because I've been I've been wanting to focus on finishing the current Professor Layton game that I'm on right now um, before I take on any new games. So I've been trying to make my way through Azran Legacy before trying Genshin Impact. So I have not played Genshin Impact as of yet, but hopefully soon I will be able to play it. That brings us into our next question, which is favorite and least favorite Professor Layton game, which is I am thrilled to be getting a Professor Layton themed question. If you guys didn't know, I've been super like re-obsessed with Professor Layton recently. I've been um, doing a big replay of all of the games over the course of, of the pandemic and I've just fallen way back in love with it. And I just 
I love it. So it's very exciting to be getting a Professor Layton question. Um, my least favorite one is definitely Miracle Mask. It was really hard for me to finish. I got really bored of it and like halfway through, I, I just kind of dropped it and then had to force myself to finally finish it. I don't know, I just found that that one was just like, in terms of the storyline, like I liked getting to learn about the professor's past and I friggin' love Randall so much. So much, he's great. But he was like the only redeeming quality of that game. Like the actual mysteries and everything, the actual like storyline that the game follows, I found really not super interesting. Aside from like getting to learn about the professor's past and like his friends and everything, like Angela and Randall and everybody. Um, but like aside from that, the actual like main story of the game was very boring. So Miracle Mask was definitely my least favorite. And then I haven't done a proper replay of every single game, so I can't properly judge them, but from my memory, um, my favorite is Diabolical Box because that was the first Professor Layton game that I ever played. So I have very pleasant memories of it. And I just, I don't know, I just I just remember it really fondly. That could change when I actually go and replay it. I feel like maybe, maybe Unwound Future might be my favorite when I actually go to replay that one because that one has kind of like the most emotional depth. But um, we'll see. For right now, I'm gonna say Diabolical Box is my favorite. Miracle Mask is my least favorite. Cause plans. This is always a question that comes up. I don't have a lot of cause, I can't speak. I don't have a lot of cause plans right now. Um, the main thing I'm looking to cosplay right now is the Promised Neverland because I, as of recording this video, um, literally within the past week, I've I've watched the first and second season, and then today I just finished rewatching the first season again. So I've become very obsessed with it. Um, it's very messed up and very heartbreaking, but I really love it, and I'm really attached to the kiddos. They're just such good characters. I love them so much. So I really want to cosplay that. That's the main thing that I'm looking to cosplay. I'm looking into cosplaying next. That's all I really have planned for right now, but we'll see. I'm gonna be trying to watch more things and play more things and, and get into more things to try and, you know, battle my depression. So um, hopefully there will be more cause plans as the weeks go on. How is voice acting going for you? This is another really great question. Um, I stopped taking classes. I, I did like the most advanced class at the school that I'm, that I'm studying at um, back in the spring. And then right after that, the cases for COVID in BC started to really skyrocket. So it felt like it was irresponsible to continue going into in-person classes when the cases were so high. So I stopped, but I'm gonna be going back into doing voice acting classes at a different school in September. So I'm hoping that that will kind of reignite my motivation and kind of my passion for it because I kind of lost all my confidence after I finished my classes, my, my previous classes. I kind of like I was going to do a bunch of practicing and I was going to do a bunch of like voice acting related videos and then I tried to do those and it didn't go the way that I wanted it to and so that caused me to like lose confidence. So I'm kind of in a weird kind of limbo with my voice acting so I'm hoping that I can kind of get everything reignited and like get back into it so. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Um, so it's not currently going well, but I hope it will go well eventually. <laughs> oh, and that's all the questions that I have. That was a very short Q&A video. Yeah, that's, that's all the questions that I selected for this video. So this was probably really short and I apologize, but it is what it is. Um, to be real, it's been a very hard month uh, as you guys can see, I haven't been putting out new videos recently um, because it's been really hard for me to get the motivation and get kind of get into the right headspace to film. Um, it was very hard for me to get myself to actually film this video. So, um, so it's been a time. So I'm not sure how consistent my uploads are going to be. I'm not sure how that's all going to go. I'm going to be doing my best to be putting out new content, but it's been very hard to come up with new video ideas. It's been very hard to get motivated to make new videos. It's been very hard to not be depressed. <laughs> if you've ever suffered with depression, you know that it's like it, it, it impacts your life a lot. So um, it's very hard to do the things that you normally enjoy. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. So we're going to see what happens. And yeah, so if, we, if, if I kind of like don't post anything anywhere for a little while, You'll know why, um, but I'm gonna do my best to be putting out new content. Anyway, thank you guys for sticking with me. Really appreciate it. Thank you everybody who submitted questions. And yeah, so um, <laughs> it's a really depressing Q&A.
I'm so sorry. Uh, but it is what it is. Anyway, thanks so much for hanging out with me today, you guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you guys all next time. But until then, kind of faces, please be sure to take care. Bye.